Hello everyone, this is Sharif. Today we'll be talking about packet capturing in a Junos device. Uh, packet capturing actually is taking a sample of the actual packets that are being um, uh, sent through uh, an interface either in the in or the uh, out direction of the interface. So in this specific example we have P1, P2 and P3 Let's say I need to capture packets that are coming from P3 and going to P2. Um, after capturing those packets, I can take this sample, or th these packets, and send it to an FTP server where I can uh, open uh, those packets with a protocol analyzer like Wireshark and see uh, what's happening so that I can troubleshoot to either uh, analyze what's going through my network. So the first component of uh, uh, the packet capturing in Junos is under the forwarding options and you can see here I have packet capture and under packet capture I can specify a file and file name let's uh, let's say packet capture essentially what I did right now is I'm telling the Jonas device if you're capturing any packets save it in this file of course I have lots of options to do I can uh, tell it um, uh, how many ma how the, the capture size and uh, uh, the packet size that I need to capture and uh, um, I can also tell it how many files and the size of each file uh, to save. This is the configuration under the uh, packet capture. The second step is to tell the router exactly what do you need to capture. So you have two options. You can either capture all the packets going through the interface or you can specify with a firewall filter what, uh, what exact packets or what criteria do you, does the uh, device need to uh, match first before capturing the packets. Uh, in this example, I'm going to match on the source IP address of P3 which is a loopback interface and the destination will be P2 so if I'm trying to ping from the physical interface this won't match uh, it will only match from the loopback of P3 and the destination has to be the loopback of P2 this can be very granular because if you have like a gig interface or a 10 gig interface and you're trying to capture all the packets uh, going through it that would be uh, um, that wouldn't be very useful because you're uh, you're essentially capturing everything. Um, so to do that, we go under the firewall hierarchy, family inet filter, and let's call it capture in capital. And in term one, I'm going to say set. set from set from source address 3 to 3 to 3 to 3 which is the loopback of p3 and set from destination address 2 to 2 to 2 to 2 which is the loopback of p2 and uh, then I'm going to tell it uh, sample which is take the sample when you match those two criteria, which are the uh, source address and destination address. And uh, since the firewall will, uh, if you just specify the source and destination IP address, any other packets that are trying to go through the interface won't pass. So you need to make another term that term 2 then accept
so I'm telling it the family is Linet. The filter name is named Capture. Term one from source to destination address. Then sample. Term two. Then accept. The final step is to apply the firewall filter under the interface. So since this is only unidirectional from three to two, uh, I'm going to apply it under interface Giga Ethernet 002 in the inbound direction. Or you can of course uh, put it under uh, Giga Ethernet 001 in the outbound direction. Interface. And as soon as you commit, the device is now capturing packets. We can test our configuration by pinging 2 the 2 the 2 the 2 from P3 with the source address 3333. And indeed, it's pinging. And we can just ping from the physical interface and it's also pinging but this time the packets are not supposed to be captured because it's not meeting the firewall terms so now the router keeps capturing packets you have two ways to disable capturing the packets either you can uh, simply roll back the configuration You can see that in rollback one, you'll just uh, remove all this configuration. Or the other way that I like it, instead of just uh, typing um, the configuration over and over again, you can just set forwarding options, packet capture, disable. And now you have just disabled the packet capture. So where are our, uh, where's the file stored? You can see that under file, show it's under the var, temp. If you press tab again, you'll see that the file name is packet capture, and Junos automatically appends the name of the interface that has the packet capture. So. Now you can open uh, an FTP server, here I'm using FileZilla, and you can copy the file to the FTP server, to FTP, the username is admin, password is admin, at Oh, actually, I forgot the uh, interface IP. Ah, and here is the interface IP file, copy, var temp packet capture to FTP, username admin, password admin, at the FTP server and the file has been copied successfully we can now go to the folder where we have the file you can see here that the file has no extension so you can just press f2 and rename the file to dot pcap which, which is the format or the extension for wireshark if you open the file now you can see that it only uh, uh, captured the the packets which are which are from source three three to destination two two. It didn't capture the other packets, uh, which is actually from ten dot one dot three dot zero because it didn't match in the firewall. So hopefully this was useful for you. If you like. Uh, this tutorial please hit like and you can also subscribe to my channel for uh, another videos in the future 
and thank you so much.